What are four ways that 3D printing can help you build your general dental practice during a recession? Hey, I'm Dr. Chris Griffin, founder of the 3D Printing Association for Dentists, and this is the video series that tries to help you incorporate 3D printing into your practice and helps build your practice along the way. Okay, so how, what are four ways that 3D printing can help build your general dental practice during a recession? This, this is a, a topic that keeps coming up more and more on all the message boards. Um, and everywhere that I look around, everyone says, hey, we're headed toward a recession. I don't know if you're seeing signs of that yet, or when you watch this video, we may be in the middle of a full-blown recession. But one thing I do know is it's been a long time since dentists in America had to face a recession. Um, I think around 2008 to 2012 was the last time that we faced one here in my practice. So if a recession's truly coming, and I believe it probably is, what are ways that 3D printing can help you through that? Because back in 2008 to 2012, we did not have that, okay? We had, to, we had to come up with other ways to survive the recession, but now we've got this amazing technology that really can help. So what are the four ways? So number one, there's actually two things that can, two things that can help your patients and two things that can help your practice, and it all kind of meshes together if you'll stay with me. So number one, of course, the most obvious thing is cut costs. Now, once you buy your initial 3D printing package, which, by the way, these packages are coming down in price every single day compared to what they were in the beginning, um, you're going to be able to lower your costs on stuff. It just doesn't cost as much to print whatever it is you're printing in your practice, you know, to replace your models. Uh, heck, I honestly believe that a really robust 3D printing technology system in your practice, it kind of replaces at least one employee. That's just the truth of the matter because of all the time savings and all the cost savings, if you weigh it out, it really replaces the time of, of, of one, say one clinical chair side assistant now you've got that cost that you can apply to what you're printing and it really lowers everything, lowers your overhead a lot. So cutting costs is going to be a big thing for every dentist when the recession hits. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, um, let's think about if you're going to lower your costs. In the past you might think, okay, I've lowered costs, now my profit's really going to be up there. But in a recession, one of the things that I think is really important to remember let's not try to make the most money that we could possibly make. Let's, let's let our profit be a little bit lower so we can pass that cost savings on to the patients. And when you do that, your patients are going to reward you for helping them out in a tough time. So, so I think that, that that's a big thing in the coming recession, being able to help your patients by lowering your costs a little bit. And you know, most dentists are slow to react. They're not going to get this, okay? And if they don't have the 3D printing technology, they're not going to be able to cut their costs as much because they're going to be dependent on labs much more. So they won't even be able to cut their costs as much. Um, so absolutely, this is something that could help build your practice if patients see you as someone who's willing to lower your prices just a little bit to help them out. Of course, I'm talking about your fee one prices. Let's not even talk about insurance PPOs. That's a whole different uh, video, whole different podcast, right? Uh, so that's number two. You're helping your patients. That's going to help build your practice. Um, number three, uh, this also is something that helps your patients, okay? So... Uh, I know that the job market has been, you know, crazy for the last several years since the pandemic. And, and a lot of people don't like to work anymore, don't work, whatever. Uh, but as a recession hits, more people are going to realize, oh, I need a job. I'm going to have to work. And as they go back to work, we're going to see a time that's closer to the 1990s, 2000s, where people really just couldn't get off work when they wanted to. People weren't working from home as much. Uh, and so if you, if you have trouble getting off work and you can go to a dentist who has some 3D printing technology, who can do more stuff, say, same day, stuff like that, uh, it's going to help your practice because they're going to trust you to get them in and out so they don't have to ask off work as much. If you're in a blue collar general type practice, you're going to definitely need to have some kind of technology in place where you can do more same day dentistry. And in the past, you know, we had milling technologies for crowns and that was great, uh, but 
as time goes by, the technologies are shifting and 3D printing is going to be the next big thing for permanent crowns. Uh, and so even though milling still has its place, not only permanent crowns, but now dentures and splints and all kind of cool aligners, stuff like that, you can do now 3D printing. All this stuff can be started same day. That's going to help your patients. That's going to build your practice during a recession. Um, and now the fourth one, but before we get to the fourth one, which is a, an amazing reality, um, real quick, we want you guys to get started 3D printing. We know it is one of the biggest keys for you and your practice to grow in the upcoming recession and whatever happens. So we've got the 3D Printing Association for Dentists. If you will go to our website, we have some free checklists for you that will help you get started in the three biggest procedures that we use in our practice every day. And we've talked to dentists all over the country to help them get started 3D printing. Uh, so if you go to our website, 3dpa.org, you can grab these free checklists. Also, we've got three videos to go, one video with each checklist to help walk you through exactly what the checklist means so you'll understand. And the whole key here is just to help you get started 3D printing in your practice. So what's the fourth one? Okay, and this is one, look, if you get all this right, if you help your patients, if you lower costs a little bit, everybody understands you're trying to help them you're going to gain market share. That's the big one, right? And so the recession is not going to last forever. When we come out on the other side of the recession, once you have been the person that's been known that you can bring people in and help them with their costs and help them with their time, you're going to, they're going to be your patients from now on. And as times get better, it's just going to help your practice blossom and grow. And, and, and eventually you're going to be, you know, you're going to have the practice you always wanted it's going to be full of patients bursting at the seams and uh and you're you know it's just going to be a robust practice that you always wanted the market share thing is real when we did this for our patients back from 2008 to 2012 um, we gained a ton of market share in our area i mean right now we have thousands and thousands of patients and before 2008 you know we had kind of struggled up to that point uh, but we, the, we used the recession, the last recession, really to build our practice. And so I know exactly what you can do to do yours. And, and this 3D printing now, we didn't have that then. We had to use other technologies to do same-day dentistry and help people and stuff like that to lower costs. Now you've got all this technology, you know, at your fingertips. So take advantage. Build your practice during the recession. And on the other side, you're going to be super happy about it. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. Build your practice. And we'll see you in the next video.